We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I hope y'all have y'all's teacups ready for this piping hot tea. So what's going down is this. If you guys do not know, the game and Joe Button are currently beefing and guess what? I'm here for a bitch, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys remember last week, the game was seen in the studio. He was being filmed. He was going in on Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and basically talking about how he, you know, busted all in her face. Some bullshit. Y'all go ahead and watch the video right here. <laughs> all right, so you guys remember that damn video that went viral. So a lot of people drug game for that. We had a really good discussion about it on my Instagram page. To me, it was just unacceptable. The woman is married. She has several children. Let her live, okay? So now DJ Academics is reporting that the Compton rapper game basically has a song coming out and in those lyrics he's talking about sin santana he name checks joe he name checks joe button and joe button's um current situation since santana um, listen trust me listen the difference the one thing i can tell y'all man like you know i don't know exactly what space joe be in these days a lot of times i be hearing take mad shots I, my nigga I'm, I'll, I'll be feeling like that. I'll be having all type of... Oh, what the fuck? Chill, nigga. Bro, I'll be having all type of good opinions on... Like, bro, I'm happy for all the success of Joe. I'm not. I'm never no bitter nigga, bro. I'll be doing too good by myself. I'm never no bitter nigga. Like, so I don't know exactly ever what his thing is. Um. So, literally, I was like, damn, yo. Yo, it's kind of corny to mention, like, Kim K. Like, she passed that. Her and Kanye doing some other shit. Why are you going to mention, like, even if it's true? And that's when they told me, they said, yo, they got videotapes of everybody on, on on that song. Everybody. So if anybody deny it, tapes is dropping. And I'm like, damn, okay. So I ain't going to come here and, and it's not my place anyway to be like, yo, that nigga lying. Who knows? You know, people are people. People might, whatever, whatever. But I was just saying, yo, it's a little poor taste. You, A lot of these people, they moving on to different situations, like. Niggas is getting married. Niggas is having kids. This and third. Like, if some shit happened 10 years ago, whatever it is, why are you bringing up in a song like that? Like, it's kind of distasteful, but fuck it. That's what they're doing. Who, who am I to tell the game what to do? He a thug. But, uh, shit. That's the only thing. I just got to get Joe the heads up on that. He probably he probably know already. Um, because a lot of people were there at that listening party. People only recorded the shit about, like, Kim K and, and like, Kylie, but... I heard it through my own. It was something, something, something along. It was something along the lines like, "Yo, I had Sin Santana like ripping the buttons off my shirt, something like that." It was like a really clever line, but he 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 mentioned both of them. Again, I'm gonna just t I'm, I'm just telling y'all how I am. I don't like I don't you know I be hearing slick shit like I'm not that person to be like, "Oh yeah, you, nah." Like, I look at it, like, Joe's been a really good person to me. I'm like, that's kind of funny, but I don't do that. You feel me? But, it is what it is. So, it's just, um, I'm about to text him now. Just, just say, you know. Who is Joe Budden's current fiance, okay? And the mother of his beautiful son. So, Joe Budden was not feeling this at all. So, over the weekend, um, he basically spoke about games charges and how he had a sexual harassment case. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Some type of sexual harassment claims filed against him in a lawsuit to which he lost. Hmm. I didn't know that, but... Yeah. That old, that old thing that, from, yeah. from the game TV show where yeah. Shorty came. And I'm not saying oh, it's true shit. or false. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but okay. but it happened. <laughs> mm. It happened. So that's one. Game has pictures laying up in the park with his finger up underage girls. That mm. happened. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. That's who game. That's that's who I know. Game. That's who the game that I've seen on Instagram. This is social media. <laughs> right. This is what game put put online. That person should stay far away from topics like this. Is what I'm saying, for his benefit, not for mine, not for Ye's, not for anyone else's. He should want to stay far away from it. He didn't even want to pay the money when he lost the suit. <laughs> yeah. So now Wack 100 is saying, hey, if anybody denies these allegations, we are gonna leak the tape. Fam, I dare you. 
I dare you, Lika Taylor. All right, so you guys just saw what Joe Button had to say this weekend about the situation. Well, word got back to Game, a.k.a. Los Angeles Confidential, and he took to his Instagram page a few hours ago, and this is what he had to say to Joe Button. He says, at Joe Button, you can't sue nobody for discovering the pussy before you. Hashtag Christopher Columbus headass nigga. Hashtag Indians was here first. Then he goes on to say, I turned you into an on-air personality, nigga. Enjoy retirement, pussy. Quavo voice. So after that, got back to Joe Button, honey. When I tell you, old man Joe, he done wrote up his sleeves, honey. He was like, game. I know you don't want no smoke. If you guys don't remember. So if you guys don't remember, back in the day, Joe Button and game had beef. I think it was like in 2006, 2007. I'm not really sure. But they went back and forth for a while on tracks. No, tell game I triple his whole budget on the morning show. No. Got TV bread. So, give it time, wait. Next. next, we'll probably see this clown on blind date. Wait. Next. Joe Budden came at the game, made a diss song towards the game. So they've kind of had an underlying beef. So I can see this beef sparking up again. Hopefully old man Joe comes out of retirement and he goes back to spitting bars. I've been waiting for this for a while now. I thought he was going to go back to the studio, you know, during the whole Eminem fiasco. And that didn't happen. Maybe the game will make him go back into the studio. Or maybe he'll just sit on his podcast and just, you know, yell at the game. Oh, it ain't about the podcast. I care about rap, nigga. Oh. Because this is what Joe Budden had to say to the game's rebuttal about him talking about him and Top My Sin Santana. Check this out and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Don't fucking talk to me, no nigga named JC on. <laughs> you talking about my girl with a girl name. Watch your fucking mouth, man. I feel bad for niggas like that. Because I understand. Mm. Unfortunately, today, real good MCs have to do shit like that. Because real good MCing ain't really getting it done. And I never thought about how ice fucking cold game was. Until, until, and let me just say, I think that's trash. I'm stopping that in 2019. I'm done saying how cold or trash niggas are while I'm not going to rap. I ain't going to do nothing but talk. For quite some time. His whole career. My stance last week when he was talking about Kim and Kanye, and I was like, yo, game don't have to do that. It don't change because it's me. <laughs> yeah. It don't change. It don't change because it's me and mine. How I feel is how I feel. So let me say how I feel. Game, you don't have to do this. <laughs> let me be the first nigga to tell you that the rapper that I think you are, with the catalog that I think you have built, with the hits that you have, with the longevity that you have, with the crew that you have from the coast that you rep, it's a pop. It's, it's probably it's probably it's second right now behind Atlanta. Maybe it's a really popping coast. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they're right there. A lot of popping MCs. I argue Hell Nipsey yeah. had one of the best albums last year. There's Kendrick. I don't need to go through all these J niggas. J Rock. The more I got my brain into that, is the more that I felt sorry for Game. Hmm. Is the more that I felt bad. See, because my hey, you fight with me, Game. Unfortunately, the fight I'm fighting includes you. Hmm. It's, an, it's, it's all inclusive of creators. Thank God I worked my way out of that fight that you fight in game. What's this nigga real name? Jocion? All right, Jossie, I just saw what Joe Button had to say. And this entire situation, like I said, even when he was talking about Kim Kardashian, I felt like it was wrong when he was talking about Kim. I mean, it's just tacky. Why are you bringing up the past? Okay, you met them first. You hit it first. But, again, who are these women with? They're not with you. You're sitting here lonely, obviously looking for somebody to be with. You cheated on damn Tiffany. She done moved on. You know what I'm saying? What if somebody's making rap songs about your baby's mother? You'd be upset. And the fact that he's a father to a little girl, Girl, you know what I'm saying? Why even put this type of energy out there? Why keep talking about the women that you smash? To me, it just comes off as lame. And, you know, keep keep the females out of it. If you want to beef, if you want to go back and forth,
Marathon Wax with, you know, fellow MCs, I'm here for it because that's what they signed up for. Kanye West, Joe Button, that's what they signed up for. But when you start dragging their family into it and talking about how you were with their girls before them, it's not that serious. Find some other content. I know Kanye West is somewhere looking at this whole back and forth, honey, sipping his damn Arizona iced tea, okay? <laughs> so this entire situation, like I said, it just makes the game look messy. And it's sad that he's trying to go the slut shaming route. At the end of the day, the industry is small and a lot of these guys and women have dated each other, been with each other. This is nothing new. You know what I'm saying? They all keep it in the damn industry. So I don't understand why the game feels the need to keep rapping about people that he supposedly smashed who have now moved on to bigger and better things, allegedly. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation concerning Joe Budden basically calling out the game for talking shit about his fiance Sin Santana. Um, whose side are you on? Do you feel like, you know what, all is fair and love in hip hop? And if the game wants to talk about him smashing Sin Santana, he has every right to? Or do you agree with Joe Budden that it looks kind of lame that he's always talking about the women that he smashed? You know what I'm saying? As opposed to just making it about like, you know, real bars and just real music. Because as we all know, the game is very talented. He can rap his ass off. You know, his skill level, um, you know, we expect a bit more from the game, okay? This is like some mumble rapper shit. I expect, you know, the game to come with like, you know, really, really tough bars, talking about some real shit. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.